What's up, lifelong learners? So this is your boy, Mr. Hang, and I'm back. I'm about to go on a trip right now, and I wanted to uh, let you guys know, and my dog's walking around, sorry about the noise. <laughs> what I'm gonna take with me is first my drone. And then I was deciding between whether taking my Canon EOS RP, taking the Olympus OMD EM5, or taking this GH5 right here, and I decided to go with the Micro Four Thirds system, the GH5. And here are some reasons why. Best bang for the buck does everything I need. And the only thing that sucks is autofocus, but I'm not gonna be using autofocus a lot. So that's why I have this Canon EOS RP, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna catch a lot of great footage, a lot of great photos for you guys. I'm going with a bunch of uh, retired folks. So it's gonna be snail pace and uh, yeah. <laughs> but the next thing I wanna do with you guys is uh, which lens am I going to take? So I'm gonna start off with the widest first and then I'm gonna work my way up. The widest I have is the eight millimeter fisheye Panasonic, eight to 18 Panasonic Leica. And then after that, it would be the 12 to 60, the 12 1.4. Oh, here's another wide one. The, the Olympus 14 to 150, 25 millimeter Olympus 1.2. The Canon 50 1.4, this is a vintage lens. Another wide one, but also super zoom is the 12 to 100 Olympus. And then my last micro four third lens, the 100 to 400. So before I tell you guys which lens I'm going to pick to take with me on the trip, I want you guys to list down below, pause the video, list down below, what you think I'm gonna be taking with me. And if you have free time, why? So I'm gonna give you a count of five, four, three, two, one. All right, here are the answers. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the fisheye. Why? Because there are going to be some times where I'm gonna be stuck in small places and this fisheye is going to be a very fun lens to use and it'll capture everybody who's with me. The next thing I'm going to take with me is this vintage lens. Why? Because I can like low key do a macro with this thing. It's pretty dope. And then the next thing I'm gonna take with me is the eight to 18, because this will cover my wide end without it being looking so fishy. <laughs> and then I'm going to take my 12 to 100. Okay, this is gonna stay on for the most part. And then I'm going to take my 100 to 400. Well, why would I carry around something this gigantic? Well, I'm going to a bunch of national parks. I need that range for catching wildlife. If you know me, I like to get wild in the wild. Now, actually, <laughs> I like to stay as far away as animals as possible because, you know, I got a wifey to come back home to. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to get eaten by bears or nothing like that. Did you guys get it correct? And if you did, write it in, down in the comment section or edit your comments. Yes, I got it right. <laughs> If you have any questions about these lenses, let me know. Uh, I plan on making a review for the 14 to 150. This is your all around and uh, it has weather, well, it's not weather sealed. It's, it has some weather resistant stuff. I mean, there are different levels of weather proof, weather sealed, weather resistant. Go do your research on that. <laughs> but anyways, I am excited to go on this trip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Also share this with some people if they might wanna know anything about these lenses. I'll make reviews for them. All right, well, I'll be traveling with a bunch of senior citizens, so it's gonna be snail pace and all four of these lenses is gonna cover all my ranges and actually four five lenses because this one is going with me as well. This is going to be an interesting use of this vintage lens for low light situations. It is a 50 mil, so it's gonna act like almost like a 100, I wanna say, almost. So you guys let me know what you wanna see from Yosemite, Sequoia, Yellowstone, Grand Teton, Crater Lake. And I'm also gonna be going to, hi Biscuit. I'm sorry, my dogs are like hungry right now. I'm gonna cut it short. Like, share, subscribe, and I need to go feed my dogs. But before that, you know how we say goodbye. Get your hands ready. Rock, paper, peace. Okay, in the comment section, how many people actually do that with me? Okay, see you guys in the next video. Okay, 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 Biscuit, dang, okay.